Hello there. Last year I shared a travel makeup bag video on how I pack my makeup for a weekend away with minimal steps and travel minis, so I wanted to follow up with a skincare version. So many of you had asked for it. I've shared other travel skincare videos on how I packed for a couple of months away and many months away, but I recently used this exact combination of products for a couple of trips. One was only one night and the other was five nights away, so this routine covers me for any type of short trip. As always, these aren't product recommendations because everyone's skin is different and skincare is so subjective, so this is just what I personally enjoy. The key to packing light when you're only going away for a few days? Two words, travel minis. You really don't need much of any product in that time, whether it's cleanser or shampoo or moisturizer. So there's more than enough product inside a travel mini. I don't need to bring the full size. The only time I do pack a full size product is if they don't come in a mini. That's the case with a couple of my morning products. So I tend to have all of my travel minis for my evening skincare routine in one bag and another bag packed with products I use in the morning. I like splitting them across two bags. So it's super simple to only grab the one pouch you need for day or night. For short trips, I like packing something small and thin like Glossier's pink pouches. They're easy to slide into a small overnight bag and there's some protection built in with the bubble wrap. If you've watched my videos for a while, you'll likely be familiar with my morning skincare routine. Not too many steps and they rarely change. First, Glossier Priming Moisturizer. They're lightweight moisturizer that preps skin nicely for makeup. It's my absolute favorite because it just freshens up the face, feels nice and hydrating and leaves a healthy, dewy finish. To keep my bag super light, a top tip is that I actually keep tubes that are nearly finished when they're only down to a couple of uses left and take those with me on short trips rather than bringing along a full tube. Not a day goes by that I don't apply SPF, so my holy grail ultraviolet supreme screen SPF 50 always comes with me. I fell in love with this formula in 2019 because it's lightweight, creamy, an off-white color that disappears into the skin, and it feels far more like a moisturizer. My skin always looks and feels hydrated and glowy. I'll leave my discount code for the brand down below. It's not an affiliate code, just a handy discount for you. I'm obsessed with using face mist to prep my skin before my morning moisturizer and SPF, and Jerlique's Rose Water Balancing Mist is my number one. So refreshing with a lovely, realistic rose scent. Their glass bottle isn't a good fit for travel, so I decant a small amount into this little Muji clear spray bottle. Finally, my favorite perfume and signature scent, Jo Malone Red Roses. I often pack their skinny 30ml bottle, but they did release a very rare mini size in a Christmas cracker in 2018, so I'm trying to make this one last. A few extra body bits, the Marlin and Getz Eucalyptus Deodorant became my favorite formula last year. It keeps me smelling more fresh than any other brand I've used before, and it smells amazing like real eucalyptus. I've finished this mini size already, but will definitely purchase another one and put it aside to use for travel. Are you up for an empties video? To keep my hair going, I'll bring a mini Chlorane dry shampoo. This is a cult favorite French pharmacy brand and my top dry shampoo choice. I alternate between their formulas, but I usually use the one with the green lid designed for dark hair. I always stay covered up with a hat and long clothing, but my go-to body SPF this summer in Australia has been Ultraviolet's new Extreme Screen formula. This comes in a travel mini, has a light, creamy texture that's similar to Supreme Screen, but slightly more watery, and has a great coconutty scent. It leaves the skin looking glowy because the formula is nice and hydrating, but there's also a tiny bit of shimmer in it. Not too noticeable though. Don't forget your hands when you apply SPF. I went for a skin check last year and the first place they looked was my cuticles because skin cancer can develop under and around your nails. In terms of other body and hair products like shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, for a couple of nights away I'll just rely on the products at the hotel or Airbnb or friend's place I'm staying at, or if I know there won't be anything there I'll bring some hotel minis along from a previous trip. My entire nighttime skincare routine can come with me in mini form eye makeup remover, micellar water, cleanser, moisturizer, and face oil. If your favorite products aren't available as travel minis, you can always decant them into smaller pots like this Muji container. I think this cream pot is the best style they sell and I've never had any leaks. You can see more on how I decant products in my two previous travel skincare bag videos for longer trips. First, eye makeup remover. The only formula I've used for as long as I can remember is the Chanel Gentle Biphase Eye Makeup Remover. I've used one of these so much the labels completely come off. I just haven't found anything that removes makeup this gently and easily. You don't need much at all to take everything off, so this little mini bottle that I was given as a sample once in store is perfect to keep and refill for shorter trips. I sometimes like to pack a Baby Bioderma Missler Water to use as a first cleanse. It's just a nice step to take that first layer of face makeup off, plus any dirt, grime, or pollution from the day. I always get a lot of questions about this tiny size I've shown in my in-flight skincare routine video before, but unfortunately it was a sample from an online store many years ago, so it's not sold separately. Sorry. My main cleanser is Aven Clenance, another French pharmacy brand. Love a good foaming cleanser to really feel clean, and even though I have normal to dry skin, and this is designed for oily skin, my face 
face doesn't feel stripped and it seems to help minimize any hormonal breakouts. I decant it into the 20ml Muji cream case which has even lasted me for two to three weeks away so it has plenty for a few nights. After I use my Jolique rose water in the morning, I also pop it into my nighttime bag to spritz on before moisturizer. My favorite moisturizer for the last 18 months or so has been the Caudalie Venosource Moisturizing Sorbet. This has a very light, fluffy texture, so I love it as a summer moisturizer to give my skin a big drink. They always sell travel minis, so this one is nice and easy to take away. I finish with face oil and Go To Skincare's Face Hero appeared in my 2019 skincare favorites video. It's truly been a hero for me that keeps my skin looking plump and glowy and balances it out so I get less hormonal spots or they calm down much faster. This little refillable bottle came in their tiny stuff set which isn't around anymore but I hope they bring it back. Only a few extras to go through, a toothbrush and toothpaste. I like the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint from the US, so I'll always buy a couple of these travel minis when I'm there. A lip balm to put on before bed. I've used the Blistex Lip Conditioner Pot for years and it's by far the most repairing formula for me if my lips end up in a really bad state. A hand cream to apply before bed too. Luckily, lots of brands sell travel minis, but I love GoTo's super handy formula that's slightly whipped so it absorbs nicely and smells like orange blossom. Again, this little guy came in their tiny stuff set. Then a pack of cotton rounds, but I'll only take the exact number I need for my trip. Usually two per night, one for my face with Bioderma and one for eye makeup with the Chanel remover. But I'm planning to switch to reusable cotton rounds this year, so that'll be even easier to pack. I keep them inside the little pouch so they stay clean, but I'll also sneak some cotton buds, band-aids, and extra hair ties in there to keep them together. That's it, two pouches that cover my morning and evening skincare routine. How do you pack for a weekend away? Are you guilty of bringing a bit more than you actually need, like the entire bathroom cupboard? Or do you slim it right down and only pack the bare necessities? Please share your travel packing tips in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you next time.